Hi, this is Glenn Darcy, Vice President of Product Management for Artoria. Welcome to part two on our video introduction to the Oberheim Matrix 12V. So one thing that, the, uh, that we've added also into the voice are some effects. So you've got uh, two effects in series. With the effects, you can just click on the name, go on down, pick and choose whatever your effect is that you want, and play it. You can also temporarily enable and disable the effects here. Um, like most of our programs, in fact, I think all of them, you can click on the MIDI button up here and you can MIDI learn any parameter within this. And then you can have that controlled from your controller keyboard. We have it preset so that it'll work with the key labs, but you can also then create your own templates over here. You can copy them, delete them, export them, move them to whatever you want. One of the most powerful aspects of the Matrix was the voice playback. And what it allowed you to do is it allowed you to take each and every voice and you could assign them to different MIDI channels or different key zones. You'd have different transpose values, different detune values, different volumes, different pans, um, and even different presets and create a multi on this. This is hugely powerful and it, it's part of what gives it its, its sound because you can pan each voice how you want it. So um, we can take this preset here. And you can hear how each note moves in the in the field. I can make this a little clearer. Let's get rid of the uh, attack and release and let's get rid of the effects and go back to voices. And if you're listening in stereo, you can hear this note bouncing around in your stereo field as it's rotating through the voices. You can also then layer things. So I can have these different key zones. And the key zones have a note range, low to high. Uh, they have the different channel choices. So I can choose the MIDI channel. And then they have different modes. So you have rotate, reassign, reset, and then three different unison modes. But I can choose a number of voices. And here, let's go on and, and layer some things. So I've got that same preset, but now what I'm going to do is put these things on zone two. So we've got uh, six of the voices on zone one, six of the voices in zone two. And now when I play a single note, it's playing two. And a nice thing then I can do is I can go here and detune the voices. And it starts to get really big. Uh, in fact, I can go choose uh, one of my presets here. It's basically a 24 uh, oscillator bass sound. See, I've got everything on zone one. I put zone one into uni last mode. Everybody's detuned a little bit. There's panning differences on everything. Uh, some of the voices I took up an octave, some I took down an octave and a 24 voice or 24 oscillator Oberheim sounds like that. Which is pretty big. Now I could just as easily go into rotate mode. And what's really interesting on this is that I, because I can tune, detune each, uh, each voice, So I'm just playing the same note over and over again here. You can see it C just is moving. There was a, uh, a sax player named uh, Michael Brecker, a great, wonderful player, great guy. Um, had this amazing brain for harmony and stuff. And he used the, uh, the Matrix 12. And what he would do, is he would change up these tunings and these voices and create these incredible uh, kind of moving patterns that he would play with a single note. So here's a, one of 
a preset that I did. And this is a tribute to a song that he did called Original Rays. So he'd have a, a single melody line that he'd play using an electronic wind controller. And he'd get these strange harmonies that would be playing at the same time. So I'll go back to the voice page here. So this is just a C scale. And you can see I've got one voice that's not transposed, and then, uh, or one zone, and zone two has three voices, and they're going between a fifth, a fourth, and a second above. And then I've gone to zone three that has things that are tuned an octave down, uh, plus a uh, minus uh, down a fifth, uh, down a fourth, and, uh, and down a uh, second. And then I, once again, I put uh, three more kind of into the same uh, zone one in the same thing, but I detuned them and panned them. So. So I just played three notes and got a real pattern out of it. So that's one of the real powerful things that you can do within the matrix here. Um, at one point I mentioned the vibrato, and it's on the voices page is where this fifth or sixth LFO is. And uh, most of the time the way that it was used on the matrix is that you'd have the mod wheel open it, and it would just give you your modulation. So... And you would actually enable that over here in page two, where you have vibrato set going to your uh, going to your VCOs or to your filter as well. Um, the last page to really talk about here in the matrix is the program chain page. And what you can do is you can pick and choose which presets you want to put in which program change location. You can just pick here and choose and say, yeah, here, uh, here, this clown right here, this guy's got a, a decent uh, sound here. And this guy's got a couple of great sounds over here. Just, And then you can pick and choose one at a time, which one you want. They can be singles, they can be multis, and it's just send it a program change and it will change the sound. So in closing, Matrix 12. It was a beast of a synth. It's uh, been reborn again. So check out the demo. You can go to Arturia.com. Go find Matrix 12. You can download a demo of it. Try it out. Enjoy it.